Put it up, put it up, put it up, put it something a little different today um, I want to share with y'all a healthy snack um, that my family makes and it stores easy um, it lasts for several days um, and it's extremely extremely healthy um, so without further ado let me grab my glass pan and a spoon and I'm gonna share with you my ingredients and then we'll get started so I've got a glass pan that I'm going to use to put my balls on. Now, I don't know if there's a technical name for these. We call them peanut butter balls. Um, so, and y'all know I don't measure. So, um, what I have is um, all natural, 100% creamy peanut butter. I suppose you could use the um, crunchy kind if you wanted to. And the most important thing to me about this peanut butter is if you look on ingredients, all it says is peanuts. That's all that's in here. It's just peanuts. And you will notice if you're familiar with fine peanut butter that the kind that doesn't have anything extra added to it, um, it's going to have some peanut oil that comes off. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. I've already strained a lot off just because it makes this um, a little... Uh, hard to work with if it's really wet so I'm going to get my peanut butter put in a bowl and the baby is sleeping so I'm gonna try to work as fast as I can while he's asleep so I've got my peanut butter in the bowl and the next thing I want to add is um, our chocolate chips now these are three ingredient chocolate chips, um, organic sugar cane, organic chocolate, and organic cocoa butter. So again, it's important to me and my family that I, I look at these ingredients to see what all's in there, and um, the less the better. So I'm gonna put about a good handful, maybe a half of a cup. Um, and obviously, if you like more chocolate in yours, you would want to add more chocolate. If you wanted less chocolate, you would add less chocolate. So, um, I'm going to put, that looks pretty good to me. So, the next thing I'm going to add is, my top back on. The next thing I'm going to add is, is they, they're called them crispy rice. Now, these are non-GMO, uh, gluten-free USDA organic and again the ingredients are let's see if I can find them where, where it's even at I actually can't even find the ingredients but I, like I said I do check everything oh okay here it is brown rice flour cane sugar sea salt and molasses so again very simple ingredients and I'm going to put probably about two or three handfuls. My kids actually really like the crisp this that this gives to our balls. So again, these are like your rice krispies. Um they call them crispy rice. And finally My favorite the honey so I like mine pretty sweet not as much chocolatey as I do sweet so I'm gonna put um, probably a good cup and a half I mean not cup and a half that would be some really sweet peanut butter balls a half a cup I'm gonna put about a half a cup in here and of course this is our bees honey And one last ingredient that we're going to add in is um, old-fashioned rolled oats. 
Now I'm going to tell you what I usually do is put these in my um, blender and get this to uh, like a more of a powdery consistency. That is not necessary. I find that my children do better eating these um, when they don't have the hard pieces of oats that they're a little bit more, um, they tolerate those a little bit better. And this is also going to help with the stickiness of the peanut butter and obviously very healthy. Now I am probably not going to have enough um, to really help with my consistency um, because that was just what was left over from last time. And I can't put this in the blender because the baby's asleep. So I have smushed this up before with my hands and that's what I'm going to do again. Um, I hate to do this on video, but that's what I'm going to do again. I'm just going to take those rolled oats and um, kind of crunch them with my hands. Now, what I shoot for in my mixture is um, a consistency that is not dry from the oats, but not real sticky from the peanut butter either. So once I kind of meet that consistency, um, I start rolling out my balls. And you can see that I'm not like totally shredding this up to nothing, but I'm kind of breaking those oats up some just because like I said, Aiden really doesn't mind that much. The older ones don't, but the younger ones um, just tend to do better without the pieces of um, rolled oats being uh, in their balls. So I'm just going to do a few more handfuls of these until I get this consistency a little bit more where I want it by breaking up some of these rolled oats. Okay, so Sayla informed me that my battery light was flashing on the other side. So I went ahead and um, rolled out several of my oats and got my mixture just like I wanted it so I wouldn't run out of battery. And went ahead and just rolled a few balls out. Um, now, this, like I said, you really just want to get it to a good consistency where it's not too sticky um, to where you can roll it, but it's not like super, super dry either. So I've got mine at that consistency and I've pretty much gotten everything together. So what I'm just going to do is take some scoops, roll these out in little balls. And it's really easy. They're really easy to make. You've got really simple and healthy um, ingredients. And um, my kids love them. We can run to the refrigerator and grab one out. And it gives us a good energy boost. Um, and we just absolutely love them. So I try to make these um, at least once a week. Um, I have been slacking off this summer really, but now that we've kicked off the school year, um, it's really, I really like it because I can make them in a big batch and we can just kind of grab them and go um, because we stay busy and we, you know, we with all the extracurricular activities and stuff that we're involved in right now, piano and I've got three in soccer and um, cross country. So, we're, we're doing a lot and sometimes we just need a quick pick me up and it's a whole lot better than a bag of chips or something like that. So um, I try to make these a few times a week, throw them in the refrigerator, that way they'll last us and um, we'll have them to snack on. And um, anyway guys, that's it. I wanted to share this with y'all um, because our family really loves it. So happy homesteading y'all.